Hi! In this video, we'll be talking about how to use Feedback Panda with a school that doesn't have an integration or a brick and mortar school. To get started, you'll want to create that new school here in your Feedback Panda account. To do that, just hover over the school name here and click on Create New School. You can now select that school type. You can go ahead and click on Custom School or you can click on brick and mortar school here. We'll go ahead and select that. And now you'll type in your school name. We'll call this Hogwarts. Now that this new school is created, you'll have a video intro and tutorial here. And you'll want to make sure that you agree to the terms and conditions. You should read those before just agreeing, but I know those, so I'll just go ahead. Alrighty. So now that we are all set up, you'll want to create your students, your courses, and your templates so that you can start creating feedback. We'll start here with students just by hovering over that school name and going to the students page. If you have a lot of students, you can reach out to us using Intercom, this little speech bubble here, and we can send you a CSV template for us to upload those. This will be for brick and mortar schools only. If you want to do that manually, you can do that as well by clicking on the Add Student button here. Here you can now give your student a name. You can give your student a nickname. This will only be visible to you, don't worry. You can enter that student's birthday. This will give you a little reminder on your calendar when that student's birthday is coming up. So you can do something special for their birthday, use a special reward um, or whatever you would like to do. If your school has a student ID number, you can go ahead and enter that there. That's not necessary. And if you've taught the student more than zero times already, you can update that here. You'll also have the description option here. Again, this will only be visible to you, so any notes that you want to include about the student or any information can be added there for your own reference. Once you're all set there, you can click on Create the Student, and now we have Harry Potter created. So now, let's create a course. Again, by hovering your mouse over the school name, we can go to that courses tab. You'll click on add a course here and now you can give that course a name. Whatever your school's naming convention is, whether it's a course code or just a title, uh, you can enter that here. We'll call this Potions 101. You can add a descriptive name for that if you'd like, uh, such as we'll just say antidotes. Um, that is totally optional. You do not have to put in a descriptive name. You can also enter a course description if you would like. And if you have a course ID number, you can enter that as well. Again, these three here are completely optional. The only thing that you need to put in is that course name. And so now we can go ahead and create that course. So now we have a student and we have a course. So now we'll wanna create templates to use. Again, we'll hover over the school name and go into the templates page. We can click on add a template here and now we'll want to select that a course. Since we only have one course created that's the only one that's going to pop up right now. You can change this template name however you'd like. So for example if you're creating multiple templates maybe for your shy student, for your overachiever, that can all be entered right here in that template name or you can just leave that alone. You can also select your student performance here. We'll go ahead and leave that as five stars. We'll say this is an amazing student. And now we'll start entering the template text. If you have a document such as like a Google Doc or maybe just a Word document with all of your templates, you can copy and paste those into the template here. What you'll want to do though is make sure to change any names to have the name in brackets, just like you see here. 
or you can go ahead and you can type in that template as well. So we can go ahead and do brackets name, did a great job today. He didn't blow up any cauldrons. Once you've entered your template onto one side, you'll want to click on generate the template on the opposite side. It doesn't matter where you start typing, whether you type on the male or the female side, you'll just want to make sure to click on generate on whichever side you didn't type on. You'll see that that still has that name in brackets here and that this updated the pronoun from he to she. You'll want to make sure to read through and make sure those things like this are updated. This is machine learning, so it might not be 100% perfect. Once you have your template the way you want it, you can click on create this template and you're good to go. So now that we have the student, the course, and the template, we can create feedback. Always remember feedback is comprised of those three things, the student, the course, and the template. So if I go back here to Harry Potter, I can create new feedback for him. We can go ahead and select the course, and it's automatically pulled in that template for me since I only have the one template, and that feedback is created. So another way we can do this is by doing this all at once. So, whoops. So let's add another student here. We're gonna add Hermione. So we'll go ahead and create Hermione. And so now if we go to create Hermione or create feedback for Hermione, we can add a new course right here on this feedback window. So we'll click on new and we'll call this one Charms 101. So now we can also create a template from there as well. And we'll type on this side now, and we will say name, did great, she knows how to swish and flick for Wingardium Leviosa perfectly. So now that we've typed this over here on the female template, we'll want to click on the generate male template here. Everything looks good. So we will go ahead and create that template. And you'll see that that name in brackets pulled in Hermione's name for us. So that's how to get started with your brick and mortar school or your school that does not have an integration. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us on Intercom, this little chat bubble down here on the bottom right of any page on the Feedback Panda app.